वेलकम टू डे वन ऑफ द हंड्रेड डे एफ पी जी ए सीरीज सो इन दिस सीरीज वी विल भी डाउनलोडिंग विवाडो डिज़ाइन स्वीट एंड वी विल इंस्टॉलिंग इट ऑन आवर सिस्टम एंड विल भी क्रिएटिंग ए सिंपल प्रोजेक्ट विच इज़ बेसिकली टर्निंग ऑन एन एल ई डी यूजिंग द स्लाइड स्विच बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई एम गोइंग टू आंसर ए फ्यू कंसर्न डेट यू गाइज माइट हैव सो फर्स्ट ऑफ द कंसर्न इज हाउ टू वी एक्सेस द एफ पी जी ए बोर्ड्स बिकॉज एफ पी जी ए बोर्ड्स आर वेरी एक्सपेंसिव एंड सो माई फर्स्ट एडवाइस इन गेटिंग द एफ पी जी एज इज बेसिकली कॉन्टेक्ट यूर कॉलेज ब्रांच Uh, go into the labs. You go there and you ask the lab assistant. Usually, they are PhD fellows. Uh, they will have the access and they will provide it to you. The second uh, concern you might, guys might have is we don't uh, like learn. We haven't uh, finished learning very long. So you do not need to finish learning very long to follow this series. Since I am going to explain the very long code as well. So entire very long code as I write, I will explain and this will also revise the very long stuff. Of, uh, of you guys third thing is i am using xilinx fpgs and uh, now acquired by amd uh, but so xilinx fpgs are very very um, flexible since they are like uh, they have built a very good platform for learning for the students and uh, the vivado id is very robust in everything like from design to implementation entire back end uh, uh chip planning and all you can do entire thing in there so we'll be using that you can even simulate the test benches in there and uh, it's very nice in fully integrated id that's why we are following the xilinx fpgs there are other brands like altera uh, right here so altera and uh, lattice and stuff so you can follow along on those as well and uh, those have their separate uh, softwares the process will be the same actually since the since we are coding in verilog the verilog code is going to be the same so you can follow along with those fpgs as well but if you have access to xilinx fpgs as, as i will recommend that you use them so these were the three main concerns that you might, guys might have uh, so starting off today we are going to install the vivado id uh, i have my laptop here and i'll show you how do you install vivado id it's pretty straight forward uh, let's begin okay so this is vivado id and from here you will be able to create projects test them and implement it on fpgs so first of down uh, we are we have to download it so you will go to download vivado and you can simply go into the downloads and look for the latest version so in here the latest version is 25.1 and go below you will have like many installers here so the two main thing that you have to see here is first of there is a a uh, unified installer for windows and there is one for linux so if your system is windows which majority of you guys might have so you just go into this uh, unified installer for fpgas and direct to ssd a windows self extracting web web installer so this is web installer it's not downloading the entire thing right away here it will download an installer which will install vivado so i will recommend using this one there is also a full version which is here which is uh, as you can see uh, 109 gb is and stuff uh, don't download that download this here you will be able to select uh, different packages that you want so click on this you first first you have to sign in into your uh, account once you sign into your account you will be able to download everything so just uh paste all the information and just hit download okay so enter your credentials here and you are going to select vitis uh, and not vivado because vitis will install both vivado and uh, vitis like we need both yeah. so go into next and here you just select the seven series and socs so socs is for zinc and seven series is for every artix and spartan board that we are going to use and go into next just agree all of these and you you will be able to install vivado in the next step okay so now let's start with designing our first project so i'll be using this nexus 4 uh, ddr board so if you have any other boards uh, you may have bullion fpga boards or urbana fpga boards those were the two like i think uh, chips to startup uh, basically gave them so, uh, so your lab might have bullion and urbana so if you have those boards i'll uh, set you up with that as well so first off let's go to vivato and create a project create a new folder where you will store all your projects here just 
go to next and choose that folder name the project i'm going to name it led underscore switch and go to next and choose the rtl project thing and do not specify sources at this time so just uh, do this and go to next and here is where you will select your fpga so you can either select boards or you can select the actual fpga chip so if you are if you have a real digital board like uh, urbana or bullion uh, just go to the real digital website here you can find this uh, part number and just copy it and you should be able to find the part through this so this is for the boolean fpga board and uh, for any fpga boards you can just search the part number on online and you will be able to find the part number and just enter it here now the second approach is using selecting the boards itself so you can just select the boards from here now this won't automatically come you have to set this up uh, so just go to download board files for uh, whatever fpga board you have let's uh, any digital digi digilent board like Nex nexus 4 ddr or basis 3 uh, will be available on digilent's uh, official github page and here you can see digilent vivado uh, boards this is github file uh, so go into the github link and here just download download the zip go into this and extract extract it here go inside this folder you will find new and old so go into the new and copy this entire folder copy this entire folder and go into your root directory so where is the root directory your root directory is going to be in the c drive so go into the c drive and go into xilinx c drive xilinx and vivado go into your version and go into data and boards go into data and boards and you just paste your files here so as soon as you paste it um, restart your vivado and you will be able to see all the boards that you have pasted there so this is a great tool you must do this if you are working on a board on a regular basis i'm going to use nexus for ddr for my project right now so i'll choose that and you choose whatever whatever the board you are using click next and just finish so this is the main window of the uh, vivado go into this plus and you will need to create a design source okay so we need to write a verilog code for implementing that circuit go into create file and file name here i will see switch underscore led so switch led whatever you can keep the name whatever you want just click ok and yes so now after this updates go into the design sources and go into switch and led whatever the name you have kept and here you will see this so this is your verilog we will now write uh, the verilog code for our switch and led so let's first understand what we are doing what we want to implement is a simple switch right so you have to implement this no okay so the first misconception that you might have is that we are implementing this uh, inside the fpga this is not what we are implementing uh, when i say uh, that i'll use a switch to turn on an led this does not mean i am implementing this switch switch is thus just the input method okay input uh, like uh, a way to communicate input to your board right so this is an input device this is an output device we are not implementing a switch here we are implementing a buffer why see the command is if the switch is on my led should become on right and if the slip uh, switch is off my led should be off okay so this is nothing but a buffer right switch is here on the board like on the nexus board the switches here are basically for giving the inputs they are 
we are not implementing the switches we are giving the inputs through the switches so this is the first thing that you need to clear clear upon so the circuit that we are going to implement using our well lock code is basically this we are going to be connecting a simple wire from input to output so this is a simple buffer okay so implementing buffer in Verilog is very easy in the entire series I'm also going to be focusing on Verilog as well so I'm going to explain the Verilog code uh, very thoroughly so here a Verilog code from starting if you see a Verilog code starts with a module and ends with an end module right so module and the module name and here I will just in, uh, add the ports what are ports inputs and outputs are called ports okay so in a buffer there are only two things one input port and one output port input SW this is just a name uh, since I'm inputting from switch, I, I just gave the name SW and just you do output LED, same thing here. You can keep the name anything um, like A and B and X and Y and whatever. Writing a buffer here is simply assign the output equal to input. Okay, so now we have to synthesize this thing. So we'll do run synthesis and save just here and the synthesis is running i'll tell you what the synthesis tool does so a synthesis tool takes the verilog code as the input and it converts it into a netlist so we at the end of the synthesis we are going to get a um, sort of a circuit from our sdl code right um, whatever functionality that we have defined in the code is going to be implemented using uh, logic gates inside uh, after synthesis so a circuit is going to be generated here okay so as you can see the synthesis is completed and what we can do is open synthesis design uh, you can also click here and we are going to see what the vivado has generated synthesis tool has generated here into schematic so in the schematic as you can see here we have the switches this is the actual output pin okay uh, the pin on the fpga to which switch is connected the physical switch is connected uh, so this is the pin from the pin it goes into a buffer which goes into another buffer through which it go, goes into the led pin the pin onto which led is soldered on the board so this entire thing is basically a buffer right so we cannot put the generated circuit inside the fpga right we need to uh, basically tell the fpga that this is how you implement this implementation needs to be done so after synthesis the next process that we need to do is implementation now what is implementation we need to tell the fpga that this is the switch pin that we are inputting the input uh, um, from and the output is going to be connected to this pin of the led so the package pins we need to define on the fpga we need to provide a separate file which basically connects all the inputs and outputs to the physical pins on the fpga right and that is called xdc file xdc stands for xilinx design constraints and we need to provide that from here so we need to add the xdc file for that go into add or create constraints create file and just name it anything This is the constraints.xtc. Right now it's empty. We need to assign every pin inside our design. So there are only two pins in our design, which is the input pin and the output pin of the buffer that we have implemented. How we are going to get the pin? Uh, pins are basically defined in terms of numbers. So on the FPGA package, there are number uh, pin numbers that are defined so how do we get that pin number we can get that using two methods if you have installed the board files you can directly get the pin numbers from the vivado id itself but the better way I, which i personally think is just to get a master xdc file so the master xdc file contains all the pin numbers of the fpga right so for your fpga you need to download or get your uh, master hdc file so how do we do this go into the web whatever your fpga is just type the name master constraints and somewhere on github you should get the master constraint file so for uh, boolean fpga board you as you can see they have given the master hdc file over here so the master hdc file looks something like this and it has all the pin constraints and io standards right 
this is the master htc file for nexus 4 ddr similarly for your board you will have something like this only so i need one switch to act as my input switch so i will just copy these are the switches as you can see i will just copy one switch from here the first one and i'm going to paste it in the master content similarly i need one uh, led as well i'm going to grab the first led here and just copy it and paste it after you paste the constraints you need to provide the name right so whatever the name you have put here in the input and output ports just copy those and put it here in place of whatever the default name in the HTC file has so just do that as you can see I have defined both the physical pins for the switch uh, and LED uh, for our buffer so now we are going to run the implementation okay so now as you can see the implementation is completed now we just need to generate the bitstream here and we should be good to go we should be able to put this on our FPG and test it on the hardware okay so as you can see the bitstream has been generated so now I'll move the camera to the FPG and we'll program the entire FPG I'm going to plug it in uh, laptop over here okay so this was already on don't do that so turn this on and go into vivado open hardware manager which is in the bottom corner over here open target and go to auto connect after connecting you'll see your device here and just hit program device and just do program in the Xilinx design constraints, we had put uh, this uh, switch over there, the first one, and this LED, the first one. So, right now the switch is in off condition, down is off. So, um, in the off condition, the switch is off, and when I turn this on, the LED turns on. The When I turn the switch on, the LED turns on. When the switch is off, the LED is off. So, this is a simple buffer that we have uh, basically implemented on the FPGA board and this is our first project so this guys marks the completion of day one of our 100 day fpga series so the task that we have done is very small like uh, implementing a buffer but this is the starting stage we are going to go like very uh, higher levels uh, by the time we reach to day 100 we are going to be like uh, higher level and we will remember this day when we have implemented this simple buffer in the FPGA. So if you have followed day one, you will now have an entire ID setup, the entire environment setup and you now know how you implement uh, a Verilog code into the FPGA board. So see you in day two where we will be implementing logic gates, all the basic logic gates using uh, Verilog into our FPGA. See you on day two. Thanks for watching.